Hello everybody, thanks for tuning in again. So today, really quick video as usual. As you can tell, I don't like to ramble on and whatever. Things to do. So today we're testing on a new trailer. It's one of these uh, Highlander um, dump trailers, the Equinox. Um, or sorry, the Equinox, it's by Equinox and it's the Highlander model. Sorry, I got it backwards. Um, it holds up to 1200 pounds apparently, which is nice so basically instead of me doing it by hand i'm using the tractor and i'm doing about two good loads from the bucket and i'm dumping it in there so i don't want to overdo it because i can't really quite tell exactly what the weight is that i'm using that i'm uh kind of dumping in there so i the first load i, I was actually i think too much because the tires were buckling a little bit like the you can tell that it's a little low there a little bit but either way um so yeah so we picked this up from a canadian tire uh i don't know about a month ago haven't really been able to use it off and on here and there but today i'm fixing i'm filling in the hole from the tree stump previous video and making a bit more of a smoother area beside that little driveway area anyways so it comes as you can see it comes with the ball hitch or the ball attachment what it was called sorry and frame all metal it is polymer uh, the tires are good you can grease them if you need to i've got some grease nipples in there right there they are tubeless sorry mosquitoes are getting to me gotta love canadian mosquitoes <laughs> um let's get some of these this stuff out of the dirt i don't want that in my driveway area anyways um yeah so it's not bad it's uh you have to put it together yourself obviously um they don't pre-drill the holes you have to drill the two holes i think two holes or six holes whatever it is on the bottom of it to attach it to the frame you got your tie downs you got six of those three on either side you got two in the back here so you can see that sorry try not to trip over the the, the vines and stuff that i'm walking through <laughs> Uh, you got two in the front here. Oh, you can see that, sorry. I'm not paying attention to what I'm showing you here. Uh, but yeah, so it, it, it's a good trailer. The only thing I'm kind of, either I'm not doing it right, which is pro most likely. When you go to dump it, it doesn't, everything, it doesn't go, it's not high enough for this to go straight up and down and then dump your entire load. It only goes, as you can see, there's not much again i'll use my foot as a guide so there's size 10 so you got two of my boots um and then it touches the ground so when it, when you do release it from the pin there the latch not it doesn't go to the point where everything comes sliding out nice and easy peasy i, I must be doing it wrong i don't know if i've got to drive forward with it i haven't tried that yet but i don't know but it's still, it's still good. So far, so good. The other one started to crap out. starting to fall apart. The metal one that we had. So I had to... I'm going to be retiring that bad boy. Because um, that was basically same kind of size, but in metal. Um, and it made a lot of noise. We're all rattling when you drive through the property on it. So this one doesn't make as much noise. <clears throat> and the other one was for a lawn tractor. This one's for a four-wheeler. As you can see, it just hooks up nice to the ball there. But overall... It's a nice nice unit um using the bejesus out of it today um this is my third load and i'll probably do maybe two or three more and then uh hopefully that should be enough dirt for now and i'm just at the back of the property getting my own dirt here so um but like i said i'm, I'm doing two uh two uh emax 20 loads from the uh the front end loader which will So, I don't know, what is it, a 48-inch bucket or something, I think they said it was? Ah, it's the uh, 23L front and loader, if you look it up. Sorry, I don't have all the info. Not very good at this stuff, as you can tell. But either way, we decided to try out a new uh, new dump trailer. Um, I can throw logs in here and stuff like that. The yellow one uh, I was using for, which my main purpose was for branches and stuff, because... You just take the front and the back off, and it's great. And if I have to put some logs in it, it's even better. 
this one I can put the rounds in once I cut them and then dump them and they'll just roll right out which is fine but for dirt I don't know I mean I, I don't know put it in the comments if I'm doing it wrong um, which I probably am um, your release mechanism covered in dirt right now but here you just pull this there you go pull that up and it releases the pin right there and then that piece slides up and the whole thing kind of flops over and you're good to go it comes with all the hardware that you need again I was impressed at the fact that it actually comes with uh, the two inch dome so the capacity is right there for that bit of an overkill I think for that but I'm not gonna complain because considering the trailer is only rated for I think it was 1200 pounds <laughs> but hey you can do all right, guys, uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe if you don't mind. And uh, do put in the comments if um, there's a if you have something similar or this one and you find that there's a trick to getting all if or if not 90% of the dirt out of it once you do it. Because I said, like, when I tip it, it just kind of all sits. And it, oh, I, you can't see it now, but there are grooves in the bottom of this area, like little pockets that go this way. So for some reason, I guess for like, holding stuff, like so that the dirt doesn't slide all the way out or whatever. If you're putting stuff in, it doesn't slide around that. But overall, it is a good one. So far, so good. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, yeah, it's all metal construction. I'll show you the underneath if you want. Wow. So I'm not very good at these videos, as you can tell. But either way. <clears throat> Alright, so that's it for the video. I'm getting attacked by mosquitoes here. So I'm getting a little distracted. So, like I guess I put in the comments if uh, you have any tips for the, for using these kind of trailers. That'd be cool. Because, you know, we all help each other right here. And have a great day and enjoy your week.